The X-Force returns after a month-long hiatus, and we catch back up with the team as they are in Terra Verde, which has become incommunicado due to the overwhelming powers of the Telefloronics. What's up, everybody? Trinity here, and welcome back to the Second Street Marvel, your source for the latest and greatest comic book reviews and today guys we are talking about x-force issue number 10 the latest book in the dawn of x series now if this is your first time here and you like what you see in this video make sure you're subscribed click the little bell and all of that good stuff hey maybe even check out that little join button down there as we did recently launch memberships if you'd like to continue your support here of the channel and the content on it now x-force issue number 10 this book is being written by ben Benjamin Percy. It's got art by Joshua Kassar and Guru EFX is the color artist and VCs Joe Caramagna is the letterer. Dustin Weaver and Edgar Delgado are the cover artists here. I will show you those names right there on this lovely two-page spread. You guys know how much I love these things in any comic book that I get, especially these X-Men books. You know what? Because they really go great. They really go great with those, you know, those two pages at the end we get there, you know, with, with that right there and this right here, you know, it's got the this right here that tells you the exact same thing that we get right there at the very end. It's just, ah, you know what I'm talking about. There's some filler in here, definitely some filler in these X-Men books. Regardless of all of that, this book I thought was really good, but you know, there's some things I gotta, I gotta pick out about this book. The art in this book, I, I'm not really pleased with the art. There is just some spots in here where, man, it like, I don't know, right here off the bat, we get this right here. We get Wolverine, Kid Omega, and Domino is there, there in Terra Verde. And man, I'm telling you, what they did to Domino here in this new series, I mean, it's just like, Wolverine looks fine. I mean, look at Wolverine. You know, Wolverine looks okay, you know, but like, uh, Kid Omega here looks a little funny. Uh, Domino, her looks are just like, I don't know what, like, her look has kind of changed throughout this whole series. Just like, I mean, I don't, I won't even pretend to know. Um, the coloring here is pretty consistent from Guru EFX, but again, I mean, um, there's some, there's some other spots here too. We could, uh, go ahead and we could even get into like some of this Jean Grey art here, like some of this, some of that. Oh man, I won't say it's unforgivable because there is plenty of art in this book that is actually really good. There's just some spots in here where it's like, I won't even say that it's inconsistent. There's just spots in this book where the art is bad, okay? Plain and simple, the art is bad in some of these spots, but not enough to make me not like this book. Now, the story in this book has been really good. In case you do, in case you aren't familiar, what's happened is uh, the X-Force has basically been dispatched to Terra Verde because they've be become incommunicado because they became overrun with these telefloronics now the telefloronics there in Terra verde kind of exploded and became a big thing because of the fault of beast after he had experimented you know kind of on uh with some of his own experiment experimentations on the son of the the president or the prime minister or whatever i, I can't remember there of Terra verde and he basically became like this kind of like techno organic like plant or a telefloronic and, and it basically kind of consumed the whole country. And that's what the, the, the X-Force went there to investigate. And they were there inside this temple where they kind of got, uh, they kind of got overwhelmed by the, by this, uh, by all these plants and kind of just got, got imprisoned. And of course, what happened was Black Tom Cassidy had basically been dispatched to go help them and bring them, and bring them back. And we all know, in case you haven't been paying attention, Black Tom Cassidy, he's not in the best mental state right now. He's not doing too good, and he's being sent uh, to go help these guys, and he's having, he has some issues here. He has some real issues here. Well, as he leaves, we see that Jean Grey, yeah, Jean Grey ends up going to, uh, she goes to have a little talk with Beast, because Beast has been, in case you don't remember, has been a very 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 bad man he's done some very bad things he's at fault for a lot of the things that are going on here they kind of have a conversation her and him about exactly what's going on here uh with all of these things that he has done and what's going on in terra verde uh it does not end good well it ends up that you know uh gene ends up going to help black tom cassidy and she takes along with uh she takes along with her uh, Sage and they go as they go there uh, to kind of help uh, put a, a, a stop uh, to what's going on in Terra Verde and help 
save the other mutants because they are uh, kind of just like being they're kind of being taken over by all these uh, by all these all these these pl this plant life these telefloronics there in Terra Verde uh, altogether some really crazy stuff here now there are some other things in this issue I really like what's going on here where uh, we remember what was going on because remember Domino had to be brought back to life and her memories and some of that stuff we get a little bit more of that here at the very beginning of this book some very interesting things because remember in her conversation that she wanted before when she was uh, before she was getting ready to, before she had died she wanted to bring come back and have all those painful memories as a reminder well when she was brought back she was brought back without those painful memories and that's something that she's talking about with logan here at the very beginning and he's kind of sharing his perspective on those things too and just some really odd conversation going on here at the very beginning of this book that ah while i enjoy it it kind of still gets me kind of eh, i don't know but I think that's kind of something that's good about, you know, a, a good story. When you get some of that dialogue where you're like, ah, that's kind of off-putting. I don't like that. But then you get some others and it's like, hmm, I kind of like that. Well, the same thing happens with Beast. We all remember Beast, right, and his big head. Well, here we get this, this, little, uh, this little lovely white page here about his miscalculations. Yeah, miscalculations. That's all it was. Well, he's going on here, uh, talking throughout here uh, about the telefloronics and what the problem was. And really, it's just a page full of excuses for him being a complete idiot. It's one of those things, you know, you, you know when you see a football team lose? You see a football team lose a game like a really good football team and they lose to like one of the football teams who really sucks. And you see the coach come out. Well, we learned a lot today. That's what helps, right? You gotta remain positive. It's all about positivity, right? Anyway, it gets it gets uh, it gets pretty it gets pretty deep right here in this little section right here. Just some interesting stuff, and then of course, what would what would it be like if we didn't get a little more um, white page, right? I mean, we we all know like every time I read one of these X Men books, it reminds me like I feel like uh, like like Christopher Walken's gonna gonna step in and say, hey, we need a little more white page. We need a little more white page, so we get uh, we get this one right here uh, with the the conscience of warfare, because that's what we needed. We need a little we need a little bit more insight into what's going on here um, through these white pages. We get these really strange scenes here. Well, it's not really strange scene here at the end, as we see Logan and Jean Grey as they are just kind of unwinding after this mission. Um, some stuff that I know a lot of people are going to have, probably have some discussions about uh, when it comes to some of those kinds of things. And there's really a lot of things to discuss when it comes to these X-Men books and what's going on here with Jonathan Hickman's X-Men storyline. I actually have some theories myself about that, but that's something for a totally other video, not something that we are going to discuss here. But altogether, I liked X-Force. I got to say, though, I think for what X-Force was leading up to this point, and maybe it's just because the months long hiatus but i didn't like i didn't like this issue as much it was like not even not off-putting but it just kind of made me think like eh, do i still need to keep reading this anyway guys that's all i have for today's video let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below make sure you're like subscribed and all of that good stuff and we'll see you in the next video later